what's good youtube this your boy chi world back to y'all again with another art tutorial man if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that like button comment subscribe make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified of anything but y'all some heat in today's video i will be showing you guys how to turn a rapper into a naruto character so without further ado let's jump right into this video first thing you want to do you want to find out what picture you want to use for the transformation so let me go to my library because i save a lot of pictures of different celebrities and rappers that i want to draw and stuff so let me stroll bam all right look gonna use little skis after you find your picture you want to hold shift Make sure you got your selection tool. Hold shift. Drag the corner. And center your picture. And after you get it centered like you want it, you want to drop the opacity down on the picture. And lock that layer. Create you a new layer right above it. Come up here to your... If you're using a digital tablet, man, it's the only way you can get this option right here, the pressure option. So I'm gonna set my pressure on my brush by clicking this blank sheet of paper right here. Hit okay. Come down here to pressure. Change these two bottom numbers to three. Then hit okay. And now I got my pressure brush. So make sure you invest into a digital art tablet if you don't have one so you can get the pressure option. So the first thing you want to do when you're trying to create your Naruto character, man, you want to go ahead and draw out the headband. So I'm going to drop the opacity on my brush and I'm going to pick it, find a nice neon color. So the first thing you want to do, you want to kind of make a blueprint what a headband gonna be and the little metal piece that be on the headband so you always do the sketch before you jump right into the line work man so you have everything laid out let's see what we gonna do we gonna give him a kind of symbol we should we give him in the middle Let's do a music note, man. Let's see an artist, we're gonna make a music note. So right after you do that, got you a good little layout. That's all, see, that's all you need. Now, we're gonna create us a new layer. Make our lines black. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our line work and clean everything. Clean everything up. Let me go ahead and also too when you join your Naruto characters you want to do the effects inside the eyes and just like this so we're just gonna boot All right, that's cool. Now let's finish out doing all the line work.
Now that we finish with the line work, it's time for the coloring. Wait, I forgot to add the 3D effect. Let me go ahead and hurry up and add the 3D effect on the drip. Now that we finish with the line work, what we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight everything, go to object, expand appearance, and then we're gonna click merge on our pathfinder to make our, our lines become one. Drag our line work to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy, lock the top copy. Let's find us a nice little base tone to start with. Hit OK, select our rectangle tool and drag that color over the picture. Right click the color, go to arrange and send to back. Now you wanna highlight everything, click merge on your pathfinder so the color can become one with the line work. Right click the color, go to isolate select group now we can delete that outer color since we don't need it. Let's go ahead and hit our drop down menu on our color layer. Scroll down till we see our last black line work and lock all our black lines. Keep the top two unlocked and we can close it. Now that's gonna make sure we don't make a mistake and color or delete our black lines since we locked it all let's isolate select group and switch colors around change this bandana color i mean this headband color change the metal piece Hold shift to color more than one area at a time. Now that we got a nice base color on everything, what we finna do, we finna tweak it a little bit. So let's highlight everything. Let's go to edit, edit color, adjust color balance. Let's see, preview. Now let's tweak some of these colors a little more. Now that we got our base colors laid down, we're gonna make a copy of our color layer, lock the bottom color layer, turn the eye off, go to the color layer that's in the center, and we're just gonna delete the skin tone out of that layer. So let's click it, hit isolate select group, and delete all the skin, skin tones out of this layer. I'm just 
Vamos con todo. Deleting all the skin tones. Okay, now that we deleted all the skin t color out of that layer, let's bring it back. Turn the eye on on the bottom layer, create us a new layer in between those two. And now we're gonna start adding our shadow. So we're gonna sample the skin tone. Let's find us a nice shadow from sampling it. See, I think that'll work for now. Hit okay. Go to my pencil tool, make sure my color is on, on the top, and make sure the bottom one is locked so it'll work as a fill. And now we're gonna add all our shadows. And all I'm doing is looking at my original picture, and I'm placing the shadows exactly where I see them on there.
and there you have it you guys how to turn a rapper into a naruto character make sure you hit that like button comment subscribe and stay tuned more heat coming soon and i'm out